Okay, so I found this on TikTok and it's actually at the same time one of the coolest use cases for ChatGPT or AI and also one of the most dangerous use cases that you should probably never use because it could cost you your career. So let's dive into this thing called Offer Goose because this thing is actually super unhinged. Uh, and let's take a look, okay? So what is Offer Goose? Offer Goose is a, what it says here, it's an AI interview co-pilot for job seekers. So basically if you're looking to find a job and you wanna hone your interview skills, let's say you have a very illustrious career in whatever you're doing, but you, you always fail at the stage of interviewing, so you want this AI tool to help you prepare for an interview. And I think that this is an amazing and amazing use case because this is this is something that AI can do. And what you do is, and, and you'll see it in, in the tutorial later on, you upload your CV, you upload the job description. And I've actually done a demo of this using ChatGPT. Um, but this is really cool because they, they help you prepare for the interview, but it's it's you should never do this. They're calling this thing an interview hack. Okay, so let's take a look at this interview hack real quick. And so what happens is you're interviewing and this person is taped, they, 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 they literally, I think, taped, I don't know, some people in the comments are asking, how did you actually get the phone it's like stuck to the screen? Which is a good question. And, and just for that alone, maybe they should get the job. Um, but ostensibly here is they're having an interview for a position and the person asking the questions, the, the interviewer, their questions are being transcri like transcribed on the phone in real time. And then ChatGPT is, coming up with an answer. Now the answer isn't totally random. The answer is based on obviously you upload your CV, you upload the job description so it has the major keywords that it's looking for, uh, and it helps you by giving you a text. And this person who is interviewing, uh, <laughs> so basically it takes it a few seconds. There's a bit of latency. So the recommendation is from Offer Goose, they're like, just repeat the question back to the interviewer. And this is what the person does. So, oh, that's an interesting question. So, so buy some time until we can actually give you the answer. And then it gives you what looks to be like multiple paragraphs, which is, it checks out. This is totally what ChatGPT does. Multiple paragraphs of an answer. And this person is reading off the lines verbatim from what ChatGPT gave her. So that's reason number one. First of all, it's super unethical, okay? This person is interviewing you because they want to find out what you have to say about about things, how you think about things, just asking ChatGPT to come up with your answers is 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 wrong because that's obviously that's that's obviously not you, and it, and it also speaks to your integrity as a person. Like if you're willing to lie and cheat in the job interview by not saying, "Hey, I have this AI tool that's basically answering the questions for me," what will these people think about you? Like what is what what kind of relationship are you setting up when they're you know when they're, all, they're you're lying to them from the beginning? And a lot of people in the comments are saying, "Well." probably AI on the other side, the recruiters are using AI to filter out, so why not you use AI? I have no problem with that, but here specifically, it just feels wrong because this is not the person's voice. This is just ChatGPT. Um, I'm not gonna get into the fact, like the tapping on the screen, like that's gotta be like something, you know, and the person was like, well, maybe the, 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 the camera was off, and that's a different story. Why would you have your camera off when the recruiter or the interviewer has their camera on? That's another story, okay, and then, the text that you're getting back, um, as someone who has worked with, uh, you know, has been on this side, the other side of the camera, and recorded interviews with people who have no experience talking in front of a camera, it is painful. It is absolutely cringeworthy to sit there and listen to them just read off text and stare at you because it's not going to be delivered with confidence. It's not going to be delivered with any type of, you know, it's just going to be, it's going to feel like it was read off of a screen and that is not, a, it's not going to come across like, it's going to come across as stilted and, 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 and awkward and just even more so than had you not even like used this thing. If you had just improvised, it would have been much more natural. Even if the substance of what you were saying wasn't to the point, it would have been like, okay, this person obviously is authentic, is the, this person is real. Okay, let's say you do this, you do this successfully and you, you're able to like fool miraculously you're able to fool the person that's interviewing you and you actually get the job like are you even qualified to be doing this job because you've said all this stuff in the interview well not you the large language model is probably qualified to do this job but not you so how are you actually going to do the job once you get past this stage of lying to the people in the interview like what are you going to do when they make you the offer and they're like well you know what you, you don't sound anything like the person we interviewed who was very thoughtful and just laid out bullet points for every single answer you know um this is going to be a huge issue if they actually offer you the job um and so 
That's another reason why I probably would not do that, okay? Uh, um, the interview isn't necessarily only about your skills. It's not about like saying, you know, the right things. It's about how you say those things. And it's about like, and any interviewer would probably at, at some point be like, well, this doesn't sound very authentic. This sounds like someone's reading off of a piece of paper and nobody wants to hire that person. So let's take a look at this thing at, at the uh, at the Offer Goose, how it works, right? So you sign in with your with your with with Google, you sign in with your credentials, you log in as successful, you're going to add a new job posting, what position are you pre preparing for, the, enter the job title, you're going to enter the description, you can enter the company name here, and so you can really customize the type of uh, which resume do you want to use, you upload your, your resume, um, and so this is actually really cool. And, and please wait, we need some time to prepare the interview questions. And everything about their branding on Offer Goose is really, really cool and friendly. And I really love that part of it, even though this whole thing feels preparation complete. Look at this thing. It's like a little white duck. I don't know. Uh, start mock interview for, in three, two, one. And then there's going to be interview questions. And then there's going to be basic information. And then there's the formal interview where you can actually do the actual interview here. Um, I, I wouldn't, and I, I, and I highly recommend you don't you do this. And I, again, this goes back to a lot of, of um, who we are as people, right? Using AI tools, right? And so um, you can replace your profile picture with an AI-generated picture. You can basically do an interview using ChatGPT to answer the questions for you. You can actually get the job somehow and then actually use the AI to do the actual work. <laughs> And 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 I, and I guess the question is, um, is 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 that you that that's actually doing any of that? Is is did you get the job? Are you is any of that your your accomplishment? Um, and that's that's I guess a philosophical question. I don't really know the answer to that one. But at the end of the day, um, I think these tools are, are are really cool tools to help you gain confidence, I think, uh, but I don't think you should be using this in the way that they're showing you how to use this thing in the, uh, in, 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 on the ads on TikTok, because I think that's, that's wrong. I'm going to end this by saying, I'm going to put this out there. I, uh, um, obviously, you know, there are people in my network who are recruiters, people that work in H in HR, people that work in, you know, uh, getting people jobs and also people that work in AI. Is this thing uh, a good thing in your opinion or is this really, really dangerous and actually is it counterintuitive and counterproductive meaning that by doing this are you actually really hurting your chances of getting a, getting the job? Um, I don't know. Um, if you have any questions for me, just send them here and um, I'll answer them, you know, and I hope, I hope this finds you well. Geese always fly in the shape of a V, okay? Uh, it allows 70% greater flying range, and I think that is very important. Uh, when the goose in the lead gets tired, another goose takes over that position. Um, and I don't think that that goose needs to go through an interview process. I think they just in instinctively just take over, you know. Uh, geese are very loyal, too. That's what they say. They mate for life and are protective of their partners and offspring. So, um, love geese. Um, gaggle of geese. Not crazy about the offer goose, and I don't think you should be either. Again, and if you work for an offer goose, and if I got this wrong, and if you're just doing this for prep interviews and mock interviews, and you're not actually doing this for real interviews, then I will gladly retract some of the comments, some of the comments. But anyway, um, this has been me, Jason, and I hope that you know you've enjoyed my video on geese. It's been a real gaggle. <laughs>